Hi, this video is to teach you a little bit about protein synthesis. Uh, sometimes the steps are referred to as transcription and translation. And remember, I'm just giving the basics for seventh grade life science. So before we start, let's get into here. We have a little bit of vocabulary. This whole thing right here is a chromosome. And chromosomes, if you remember from our cell biology unit, they show up during mitosis when cells divide and it's a way of organizing your DNA so a full set of DNA gets into each new daughter cell. Now on your chromosome are these little sections of DNA and it has the DNA in here basically the instructions to make a protein and that's called a gene and we use the word gene when we're referring to what it controls. We'll talk about the gene for whether your earlobes are attached or not. Now on each chromosome there's a matching one over here and sometimes we talk about the dominant or recessive version and when we talk about the version of those instructions then we use the word allele to compare like oh this side versus this side. So the gene is the instructions and when we use the word allele we're talking about which version of the instructions. All right. Here's, here's your cell right here. There's the cell membrane. And in here's the nucleus. Now the first part of making a protein is called transcription. And that's written right here. And that's where your DNA unwinds. And if you remember correctly, there's four little bases in here. There's the A, C, T, and G, or adenine, cytosine, thymine, and guanine. And they match up with each other. Uh, the C always matches up with G, A always matches up with T, and the uh, opposite of that as well. Well, RNA, what happens, this little piece of RNA is made by the DNA unzipping and the letters match up again. The only difference is there is no T in RNA. Instead, it's replaced by U or uracil. So there's no T's and it's one strand instead of two strands. And that's referred to as mRNA or sometimes called messenger RNA. So that little piece of mRNA then sends a message or it leaves the nucleus and it goes out to a ribosome. What they show here in the background is a little ribosome. And the ribosome latches onto that piece of mRNA or messenger RNA and it reads the message. So this part is transcription. It transcribes what's on the DNA and then the ribosome translates uh, the message and builds a protein. So this is called translation. And what happens here is the bases go through and it, and it basically reads the a, C, G, and U, and for each three, there's a little code, and that brings over a piece of tRNA, or transfer RNA. And on top of each piece of transfer RNA is an amino acid. So these three letters, these three nitrogen bases, match up with different tRNA, and that gives it the code for which amino acid to plug in and these little amino acids start building one after the other and when you have enough it builds a protein. Here's another view of the same thing. This whole green piece right here, this once again is a ribosome. And here we have the mRNA going through, and you can see the little nitrogen bases, the A, C's, G's, or U's. It's one strand, not two. And every three that go through are red, and then a little tRNA. Here's a tRNA, and at the top, it has an amino acid. So depending on what three letters are right here, that'll determine which amino acid is brought in. And when you have enough amino acids put together, you get a protein. And then the one last way I want to take a look at it is here you have a piece of DNA. You can see it's two strands, A, C, G, 
and T, T and A, A and T, C and G, G and C, they always match up. And if this was to be copied, you can see that the C would match up with the G, the A, which would normally match up with the T, is that T is replaced by a U, then a G, then a C, then an A, and so on, and it's one strand. Then those three, those three bases are red, and it brings over uh, an amino acid. I think this is valine. Um, I'm not actually, I'm not completely sure, but it plugs in different amino acids, and when you have enough amino acids together, you have a protein. Thanks for watching. Remember, this is a really simple overview, um, just to give you the basics for seventh grade life science.